The world is passing away and also its lusts. But the one who does the will of God lives forever. 1 John 2 verse 17 Therefore they said to him, What shall we do so that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. John 6 verse 28 Jesus was speaking to the Jews who were expecting Messiah. Messiah, Jesus, was standing in front of them, speaking to them, performing miracles. They had just ate the bread that he multiplied the day before, but they still did not believe that he was Messiah. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will certainly not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of him who sent me, that of all that he has given me I lose nothing, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who beholds the Son and believes in him will have eternal life, and I myself will raise him up on the last day. John 6 verse 35 All of this sounds very easy, just seeing Jesus, believing in him, and then you will have eternal life. But the Jews, for whom Jesus came, did not accept him. They did not believe in him, apart from a few, his disciples, the ones who followed him until the end. They were the only ones who were doing the will of God. They were also the ones to whom Jesus showed himself after he was resurrected, before he ascended to heaven. They were the ones whom he instructed to go to Jerusalem and wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that was given on the day of Pentecost. They were the ones who received the Holy Spirit baptism that he promised the Spirit of Christ in them. They were the ones who went out and preached Jesus to the whole world. They were the ones who believed. Those who accept Jesus and his words and who obey him are the ones who believe. Just believing in Jesus will not save anyone if they do not accept and obey him. Serve him as Lord. Many people call themselves Christians, but they have not accepted Jesus and they do not obey him, his words, his commandments, as recorded in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The gospel of the kingdom was first preached by John the Baptist. Now in those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is the one referred to by Isaiah the prophet when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John himself had a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem was going out to him, and all Judea, and all the district around the Jordan. And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, as they confessed their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? 
Therefore bear fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not suppose that you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham for our father. For I say to you that from these stones God is able to raise up children to Abraham. The axe is already laid at the root of the trees. Therefore every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. As for me, I baptize you with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, and I am not fit to remove his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clear his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Matthew 3 verse 1 to 12. This is the true gospel. It is not the lies that are preached in churches today. You have to repent of your sins and be baptized in water for the washing off of your sin. Then sin no more, or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You will not be acceptable to Jesus. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. The chaff will be burned up with unquenchable fire. Jesus never changed. The gospel of the kingdom never changed. On the day of Pentecost, Peter preached the same message. Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call to himself. Acts 2 verse 38 There will be no grace nor mercy for those who do not repent of their sins and do not turn from their evil ways. Repent and be baptized. Accept and obey Jesus Christ or you will perish. When Jesus was transfigured before Peter, James and John, a cloud appeared and enveloped them and a voice came from the cloud. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. Mark 9 verse 7 It is the will of God that you listen to Jesus. Repent and be baptized and live in obedience to the words of Jesus. If you do not listen to Jesus and obey Him, you never believed and you will perish in damnation. May you take these words seriously. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.